Accountability is everything, making sure they know where they're going. As Hurricane Harvey rolls through town, John Brian Torres and the rest of the staff at Gulf Coast Humane Society are taking turns giving their pet residents their necessary breaks. Oh, Edward, you're a little nervous, I know. To help with the stress these animals are going through. We're giving uh, the animals as many toys as we can. We're using uh, Kong toys and we're putting some peanut butter on the outside for the dogs, making sure that they have uh, just a distraction. The Humane Society is housing about 150 cats and dogs. Rather than evacuating, the center is choosing to stay. This is sushi. 15 staff members and their families are sleeping over through Monday to accompany the animals. Yes. Some started uh, just recently, uh, coming in last night, knowing that the rain was going to start. And because Corpus Christi floods so quickly, uh, they brought their animals. And this is the area where we're keeping their personal animals. This is the first time in 20 years the shelter has had to enact a hurricane plan. Director Sharon Ray says the facility was built for Category 3 storms. But as Harvey plows through, bringing Category 4 damage, staff will be on continued watch. It's really that rain that really gets you really bad. And so that's our biggest concern is making sure that we've sandbagged our doors, that there's no flooding. Uh, but we do have drains internally as well. So, but of course, once those all back up, you know, with the city, that can also affect it. But we're ready to go. We're sandbagged. We're not too concerned um, about anything, but we are going to watch it on a regular basis to make sure we're completely safe. Although the shelter has a higher capacity, the center says it won't be taking in more animals at this time to focus on the ones they currently have. However, once the storm rolls out, they will resume operations and receive any donations. Oscar Margain, 3 News.